We're here in Pinoca, Alberta. Uh, just finished up the eight second countdown PBR, New Year's Eve, bringing in 2012 in about an hour from now. Uh, great way to end 2011. We had a bull slash was rode tonight. Uh, one of the best bulls ever from Canada. He got rode tonight. Um, this is just a great event, Brett. Uh, what are your thoughts on the event tonight here? I agree with you. It was. It was a, a tremendous event and kind of a new format, like you mentioned, with uh, with the bull team concept and, and the um, uh, 11 teams were entered from 10 contractors. Uh, but really, there were so many neat things that were about this event, but it really came down, and we didn't think it would, but it came down to about Slash. You're right. Slash getting rowed. Uh, that's a bull that's been unrowed in the PBR. They've never rowed him. Uh, that's the only bull that's won PBR, Bull of the Year, Bull of the Finals, uh, won Canadian Pro Rodeo, Bull of the Year, uh, Bull of the CFR. Every accolade a bull can win in our country. That bull's won it at seven years old, uh, five miles from where he was born and raised uh, by Nance and Volden, Wayne Robinson. They rode him. So it was something, um, I think there were so many cool things about tonight. And then all of a sudden, Cody Ford from Hermiston, Oregon, and VJV Slash kind of took all the attention away from everything else that was going on. It was just a tremendous event, and it couldn't end it any better. And I know even Nansen and Dwayne, they're excited that bull got rode, uh, but it was an awesome night. It was a great night. And that's the first stop on the Canadian Tour this year. Um, Pinoca tonight, Cody Ford leads the standings, I guess, yeah. now. He's number one. Tanner Gerlitz finishes in second. Um, next stop, Ottawa. That's 14th of January. Um, I guess you're going, Brett. That's going to be your... What, well, we'll ask you about that. Uh, this is Ottawa. What's, uh, what are your thoughts on Ottawa? That's going to be a great event, too. Yeah, for sure it is. And, and Ottawa is going to be pretty cool. Um, they always are those cup events that are out east. They're, they're um, usually well attended, and, and they're, it's going to be in the Scotiabank place. So 16,000, 17,000 seats, and hopefully they get filled up. And, and the neatest thing about that is you know, $25,000 added. So Cody Ford sits kind of in that number one spot, which momentum is so important and, and gets that early lead. But $25,000 added, you know how it is as a bull rider. It can change things. So, But those big events, those first four, five, six, seven cup events, can really set somebody up for success. And we've seen it with Tyler Thompson last year and Zane Lambert, guys that have that early success at those big events like that, can really can kind of get a jump in points on money and everybody. So, But I'm sure Cody Ford will be there and, and fighting for, for his chance at a Canadian title. I'm looking forward to Ottawa. Everybody's uh, healthy. Everybody's ready to go. They've had some time off. So the guns are loaded and ready to fire. A lot of, guys, a lot of those guys, uh, they're going to win this Canadian money. Like We talked to Cody Ford earlier, and he... Uh, his main goal is to get back on that VFT tour, and there's a lot of money up here to be won. I think there's over two or $300,000 paid out last year, so we're looking forward to it in Ottawa. Um, thanks for joining me here, Brett, and uh, we'll talk to you again before the event in Ottawa there. Hey, thank you so much. Well, thank you, Brett. See you all in Ottawa.